I am Demonis. Jesus is my king. You are my family. Hello. I am Demonis. Thanks for joining. So, maybe part of the problem why people have a hard time having faith these days, Christian faith, is because at a root level, people even question, did Jesus exist? So it's always fun to see, you know, conflicting sides talk about this. There's debate.org. Was Jesus Christ a real person? 55% say yes, 45% say no. We live in a society where you need to see it to believe it. Personally, I believe Jesus was a real person growing up as a Catholic. Although it depends on the person if you believe or not. I think people don't question religion as God um, and God because it's sort of a safe haven for them. It goes on, and this is, you know, funny that this is like the top, the top post for the plus column. And this is kind of interesting because even the positive comments here um, are, are really completely faith-based. And I can see where that would take people who are, um, who are skeptical uh, and really just get angry and mad at that. Of course, the opposing viewpoint, uh, the top-ranking thing, uh, is, is this very, very deeply intellectual post of, no. Uh, so I don't know, uh, you know how great either side is here. Uh, you know, so here, this person just says, both Socrates and Jesus were not real people, um, nor should they be considered historical figures because they weren't. They're both fictional. No scholar ever says that Jesus was a real person. Basic historical record says otherwise. Not a trace, only hearsay. If people actually study the history of Christianity as religion, they will see that there, um, if there isn't enough evidence to say whether Jesus existed or not, no matter how many people believe it, it doesn't make it true, and no real scholar would ever say that uh, Jesus was real based on available evidence. So that's, that's a strong claim. But is it based on anything other than that person's statement? But we're going to get into what we can prove about whether Jesus existed or not as a human figure historically. This is just a page that I found that had some uh, good points because I, we're going to delve into what scholars really think. But I, but I thought he had some good points to lay out here and just to start the thought process going. Nothing to the contrary. If Jesus really were a non-existent figure of history, it would be expected that some anti-Christian group would have made this known at some point. In fact, the most hostile group towards Jesus in early Christianity were the Jews. Yet they affirmed Jesus' existence by trying to accuse the disciples of stealing Jesus' body from the tomb. We also find anti-Jesus material in the much later Jewish Talmud accusing him of treachery and leading Israel astray. Those that hated Christianity the most just had to discover that Jesus was a figment of the early Christians' imagination and expose it. And that would be the end of Christianity. However, not once does this ever happen. So the concept that you could go through years, you know, years and years, hundreds of years, of opposing ideological, theological structures, and none of them ever bring up the point that, oh, hey, you know, he didn't even exist. So scholars think the evidence is pers persuasive. As Professor Boltman, professor of New Testament studies, once remarked, of course the doubt as to whether Jesus really existed is unfounded and not worth refutation. No sane person can doubt that Jesus stands as founder behind the historical movement whose first distinct stage is represented by the oldest Palestinian community. So Jesus' crucifixion is historically certain. There are many independent sources that attest to Jesus' crucifixion. So many, in fact, that it is beyond doubt that Jesus really died on the cross. We find that all four canon canonical Gospels attesting to this fact. We also find Serapion, uh, in his letter, refers to the crucif crucifixion of the wise king. Josephus Flavius, writing in the first century, refers to Jesus' crucifixion very vividly. The willingness to, d to suffer and die for Jesus. Firstly, the apostles were heavily despised by their own Jewish culture. 
as a consequence of their leadership within the early Christian community. If they were lying about their testimony to gain the respect and admiration of the culture they were trying to convert, they were taking the wrong approach. So, from another article, Jesus did exist, and this is the real story. Most scholars, both Christian and non-Christians, agree that Jesus of Nazareth did once walk the earth. Most religions recognize Jesus in some form. Judaism, Islam, and Hinduism all mention Christ, but each one gives a different account of his life and fate. But if those accounts aren't enough for you, then how about The Guardian? Uh, the Guardian is a pretty well-respected news source. What is the historical evidence that Jesus Christ lived and died? Today, some claim that Jesus is just an idea rather than a real historical figure, but there is a good deal of written evidence for his existence 2,000 years ago. The historical evidence for Jesus of Nazareth is both long established and widespread. Within a few decades of his supposed lifetime, he is mentioned by Jewish and Roman historians, as well as by dozens of Christian writings. Compare that with, for example, King Arthur, who supposedly lived around AD 500. The major historical source for events of that time does not even mention Arthur, and is not even referred to until 300 or 400 years later. The first Christian writings to talk about Jesus are the Epistles of Paul, St. Paul, and scholars agree that the earliest of these letters were written about 25 years after Jesus' death, at the very latest. With the detailed biographical accounts of Jesus in the New Testament Gospels, uh, dating from around 40 years after he died, these all appeared within the lifetimes of numerous eyewitnesses and provide descriptions that comport with the culture and geography of first century Palestine. As far as we know, the first author outside the church to mention Jesus is the Jewish historian Flavius Josephus, who wrote a history of Judaism around AD 93. He has two references to Jesus. Did ancient writers discuss the existence of Jesus? Strikingly, there was never any debate in the ancient world about whether Jesus of Nazareth was a historical figure. In the earliest literature of the Jewish rabbis, Jesus was denounced as the illegitimate child of Mary and a sorcerer. Amongst pagans, the satirist, Lu the satirist Lucian and the philosopher Celsius dismissed Jesus as a scoundrel, but we know of no one in the ancient world who questioned whether Jesus lived. So regarding controversy of uh, now, whether or not Jesus uh, existed, uh, it is worth noting, though, that the two mainstream historians who have written most against these hyperceptical arguments are atheists. Maurice Casey and Bart Ehrman, they have issued stinging criticisms of the Jesus myths approach, branding it pseudo-scholarship. This is by a man named Tim O'Neill. He's a history writer, medievalist, blogger, atheist, skeptic, and lover of Tasmanian whiskeys. Um, but he is an atheist, and it's titled, An Atheist Historian Examines the Evidence for Jesus. He actually begins by saying, scholars who specialize in the origins of Christianity, Christianity agree on very little but they do generally agree that it is most likely that a historical preacher on whom the Christian figure Jesus Christ is based did exist. The numbers of professional scholars out of the many thousands in this and related fields who don't accept this consensus can be counted on the fingers of one hand. Unconvincing arguments for a mythic origin for Jesus. There are no contemporary accounts or mentions of Jesus. There should be, so clearly, no Jesus existed. This seems a good argument to many, since modern people tend to leave behind them a lot of evidence they existed, birth certificates, financial documents, school records, etc. And prominent modern people have their lives documented by the media almost daily. So it sounds suspicious to people that there are no contemporary records at all detailing or even mentioning Jesus. But our sources for anyone in the ancient world are scarce, and rarely are they contemporaneous. They are usually written decades or even centuries after the fact. Worse so, the more obscure and humble an origin the person is, the less likely there will be any documentation about them or even a fleeting reference to them at all. Non-Christian references to Jesus as a historical figure. The Jewish priestly aristocrat Joseph ben Matthew who took the name, Roman name Flavius Josephus, is our main source of information about Jewish affairs in this period, and he is usually the only writer of the time who makes any mention of Jewish preachers, prophets, and messianic claimants of the first century. 
Not surprisingly, he mentions Jesus twice. Firstly, in some detail on the antiquities of the Jews, and again more briefly when mentioning the execution, execution of Jesus' brother James in another volume of antiquities. Uh, as we can see here, there's some bolded part, and the bolded part is the, the text in question, and the rest of it is what history, historians generally believe is Josephus' proper historical record. Which quote, now there was a time, now there was about this time Jesus, a wise man, if it can be lawful to call him a man, for he was a doer of paradoxical deeds, a teacher of such men as received the truth with pleasure. He drew over to him both many of the Jews and many of the Gentiles. He was the Christ, and when Pilate, at the suggestion of the principal men amongst us, had condemned him to the cross, those that loved him at the first did not forsake him. For he appeared to them alive again the third day, as the divine prophets had foretold these and ten thousand other wonderful things concerning him. And the tribe of Christians, so named from him, are not extinct at this day. Events that occurred, which we are very familiar with for the story. Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor who put Jesus, uh, who put Jesus on the cross to be crucified. Now the other passage is the one that is really not up to debate. Uh, everyone pretty much, agree, all scholars pretty much agree that this is Josephus historical text. Festus was now dead, and Albinus was but upon the road. So the high priest assembled the Sanhedrin of Judges, and brought before them the brother of Jesus, who was called Messiah, whose name was James, and some others, and when he had formed an accusation against them as breakers of the law, he delivered them to be stoned. So we talked about scholars. And we talked about uh, actual historical records that mention Jesus and a whole number of things. But I think one other piece of evidence uh, that's relevant is how Jesus' tomb has recently been dated back to Roman times. And it shows here in this picture, uh, Restorer removes debris under, beneath a broken marble slab to expose the original rock surface of what is considered to be the burial place of Jesus. Um, the earliest accounts of Jesus' burial come from the canonical Gospels, I believe to have been written around AD 30. While there are variations in the details, the accounts consistently describe how Christ was buried in a rock-cut tomb belonging to Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy Jewish, Jewish follower of Jesus. In wrapping up, it's my sincere hope and prayer that I've given you some valuable resources to decide for yourself whether Jesus was real, a real man that walked this earth. I believe I've shown that. I believe to the best of today's science and capability to prove anyone that long ago existed we have that evidence and if you can follow with that and say yes these historians wrote about Jesus I understand now he's real and whether you're a Christian who never really thought of the concept and I always left that doubt there or whether you're not a Christian and you're just doubting everything or skeptical about everything I'm hoping that Maybe putting that one question to bed leads to other thoughts. Because if Jesus was real, the next question that comes is, was he God? Was he God incarnate? I hope you'll keep with me. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. And I hope in future videos here to help you along with that question. Because it's the most important question of all in our lives. I am Demonis. Jesus is my king. And you are my family. Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. Catch me on these alternate media sources.